I have been searching for a solution to screen-free kids' audio for so long. And the good news is I found it. But then it turns out there's more than one solution to this problem. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the pros and cons of two of the best sellers, the Tony Box and the Yoto. And I will help you find the one which is right for your family. So first up, both the Tony Box and the Yoto are powered by an internal battery. Both of them have charging stations for the base. The Tony Box is plugs in and the Yoto's is wireless, but the Yoto can also charge via a cable too. The Tony Box takes three hours to charge and the battery lasts for seven hours. The Yoto takes between four and a half and eight hours to charge, depending on whether you charge wirelessly or not. And the battery lasts for 10 hours. You can plug headphones in on both, but the Yoto also works with wireless headphones. The Yoto's audio lives on plastic cards the same size as bank cards. The Tony Box's audio is on Tony's, which are three inch high plastic figures. Both the Tony Box and the Yoto have a choice of content from big name authors like Julia Donaldson and Roald Dahl, plus pre-recorded nature sounds and music. You can add your own audio to creative Tonys, which means you can use them for podcasts. If you're curious to know how to add podcasts, let me know in the comments and I may follow up with a video about that. The Yoto also has podcasts which automatically update and family-friendly radio. And you can use the Yoto as a Bluetooth speaker so you can send audio directly from your phone. If you want to transfer your existing audio CDs onto Tonys or cards, it's worth bearing in mind that creative Tonys hold 90 minutes of audio whilst blank Yoto cards hold up to five hours. Pre-recorded Tonys cost $9.99 and blank ones are $11.99. Yoto's pre-recorded cards start from $4.99 with blank cards in multi-packs with each card working out at about £2 each. You control the Tony Box by hitting it on the side to move forwards or backwards a track, tipping it to fast forward or rewind and squeezing the ears to change the volume. The Yoto has two buttons that move between tracks and control volume and a screen that helps you to see which chapter you're on. You can choose the colour of your Tony Box as standard and its exterior is padded, which means it can survive rough play. The Yoto has a hard plastic outer case, but you can buy an adventure jacket in a choice of colours to protect it. Both the Tony Box and the Yoto have an app, but the Tony Box has no parental controls built into that. So you can't choose to have the box turned off at night or control the maximum volume. The Yoto, however, allows you to do both of those. Plus, it has an optional night light, a temperature monitor and an alarm. So to sum up the pros and cons, the Tony Box comes in a choice of colours as standard. It has a design that allows for rough play. The figures are well made, cute and can be played with on their own. It's cheaper to purchase the box than a Yoto, but more expensive to add extra audio. Tony Box has lots of appeal for young kids. The Yoto, on the other hand, has a bigger choice of audio. There are daily original podcasts updating automatically and a brilliant kids radio station. There's parental control through the app. It's suitable for a broader age range. The cards are cheaper to buy and easier to travel with. If you're put off by the price of the Yoto, bear in mind you can also buy a Yoto Mini, which is actually cheaper than the Tony Box. OK, so final conclusion for you. As a parent, the Yoto for me wins hands down. It is brilliant. It has so many more features on the app. It has so much more audio that you can access and it's, it's just a much more user friendly design. However, the problem is do not underestimate the appeal of the Tony Box to young kids. They love it. They can literally hug it and it comes with cute little characters that go on the top of it. So it's got massive kid appeal, regardless of what us adults think rationally about the pros and cons of something. They love the Tony Box. So here's what I'm going to advise you to do. If you have a child who is preschool age, buy a Tony box, but accept that you may well have to switch to a Yoto as they get older because you'll be limited by the Tony box. If your child is school age or above, get the Yoto. If you don't think that you can switch formats and you don't want to fork out for both of them at different points in their life, just go for the Yoto. If they've never seen the Tony box, they won't miss it and they won't miss the cute little characters. But if you want to indulge them and you're happy to switch formats halfway through their childhood, 
Tony Box first, Yoto later. So if this video has been helpful, hit the like button. I'm going to be doing an in-depth review talking about all the aspects of the Tony Box and all the aspects of the Yoto uh, coming up on this channel. So hit the subscribe and the notifications if you want to see that. And as I mentioned, if you would like to find out more about how you can put podcasts on the Tony Box, then leave a comment below and then I'll know if there's some interest in it. Thank you very much for watching.